Good morning guys, uh, today I have um, 2016 BMW 535i X-Drive, uh, this is a steering column unit, um, I just got them a couple of days ago, I'm, I'm going to replace it with my uh, old one, this is brand new, um, straight from FCP Euro, um, real expensive, about um, $764 roughly, and it is a, a warranty, a lifetime warranty, that um, the life of my car, as, as long as I own my car, if this uh, happen again, uh, broken or whatever it is, doesn't work, I just um, return it, and it's a lifetime warranty. This is a new unit. Okay, that's what it looked like. Brand new, that's how it come up with here. And here's a part number. Sorry. Sometimes you can't see it. So I'm taking pictures, uh, videotaping it, and, and moving up at the same time. Okay, hopefully you can see that. And this is the reason why I need to replace it. I can see right there, it's a uh, driver restraint system malfunction. There you go, it's a better view. Take out the ISOs, right? And let me see if you can see that. Oh, so you can't see it. Uh, but it does say driver restraint system. And uh, with that, like an airbag picture, light lights on it, okay? But that's the reason why I'm changing it and the the horn's not working, the cruise control is not working, it's just, this is dead. And if you move left and right, you can hear some squeaking a little bit. Okay, and all these button doesn't work at all. Nothing, nothing work. And that's what it's, and there you go, there's another one here, it's a cruise control malfunction. All right, let's just, let's go replace this. First thing I wanna do is, um. Uh, the battery is in the trunk, so we gotta um, take out the negative battery first. Because it's very dangerous if you do not take out the, the battery. Because um, if we just because if we remove the uh, airbag, uh, we don't want more no accident like a, like a blow up in your in your face. Okay, that would be a little dangerous for that. And at the same time, you don't want to, once you take out the battery, if you think about it, the, um, there's no power at all. If somehow your trunk shut, um, you can't really, you don't have access to go into it, to uh, open the latch again, okay? So uh, let me show you a trick to um, do that. So prevent that to happen by closing the, uh, the trunk accidentally, okay? All right, you see, I pop out the trunk already. And what you want to do is it has access to the um, the battery for the BMW, okay? So they're here, and there's two two screws right there. It's a plastic screw, one on the left, one on the right. And what you want to do is just uh, use a 10 millimeter um, socket and a wrench and just uh, remove it, okay? I'm gonna put you down so um, I can uh, do the job. So I'm just like, hopefully I can uh, still show it to you. It's just uh, removing the um, the two screws, that's all, okay, that's 10, uh, 10 millimeter um, socket. There you go, show you a little bit, you know. Should do, should do, should able to remove it, nice and easy. You can see, there's one on the left. Just loosen it, and one on the right. There you go, it's out. Take out the left one. There's the second one. Let's take it out. One there, one here. Okay. And then you just lift up the thing, the panel, and here's your battery, okay? 
and here's your negative and here's your positive all right let me uh, put you down a little bit more so I can do this real quick positive but you only need to take a negative out that's good See, well, I mentioned about um, preventing from the the uh, trunk to shut on you so basically what you want to do is just to get a towel and just um, you know cover it so that way if the um, just like that just the top of the trunk comes down it will not uh, catch the latch okay so you, you're basically preventing it you're blocking the um, the latch okay so that's the trunk the battery's in there so we move this out take it out completely for now as you can see right there that's that's removable I can see and this is it there's a a 10 millimeter uh, screws right there you can take remove it and that's it that's all you need to do okay that's all I'm showing you right now and I'm uh, let's once you remove the negative let's go inside and um, start working uh, switching the um, the column okay I cannot show you the uh, there's a hole on the bottom of the uh, steering wheel all you need to use is this pick right here and you put on uh, like up and this whole the uh, airbag right here should pop out okay I'm not sure if I don't think I can uh, show you this but that's what it is so use like a pick small enough push through the hole push through the hole like up and there's a latch in there it will pop this out okay and that's how you remove the airbag there's a reason why you want to take out the negative so once we don't want this to um, you know explode I said for now let me uh, go in there and um, try to push it out and um, I can't really show you because I, I gotta actually go in there and see, uh, see it actually maybe I can show you that here's a hole right where the steering wheel is and make sure like um, like the uh, a pick small enough to put it up uh, shove it up there okay yeah let me try to do this if I can. Where is it? One hand and use the camera. It's kind of tough though. Okay, sorry. I feel it. All right, me. Uh, I want to show you one thing pop out. So I'm trying. What do I do? So if I do this. Here's the hole. All right, here we go. I put it in the hole already. Let me see if that's gonna. Oh, guys, as you can see, the airbag popped out already. And um, I want to show you real quick. See, when you push this up, and the thing releases. Okay. There you go. Just like that. Okay, that's how you take a uh, pop out the um, the airbag. Now what you want to do is, um, as you can see right here, this uh, the wire harness right here. Uh, you got to take it out this one here and this one here. So there's a clip there. Um, I can't really uh, do it with one hand, so I'm gonna just um, put it down for now. I'm gonna remove it. Okay, there's two two of them right there. There's a this one here. And one here, okay. Use a flathead. Um, just uh, just get it out. So once you remove the two wire harness, um, the next one is this. Uh, I think 16 millimeter uh, bolt, okay, right in the center. That's the next. Uh, just put an extension and then um, a 16 millimeter socket, and just remove it. All right. Once you uh, re um, remove the uh, the bolt, I mean the steering wheel just uh, it's popped out. Okay, just uh, pull the steering wheel. But uh, make sure you take out all the wire harness. See the clip right here. One, two, three clip. Make sure you take it out. And then just remove the uh, steering wheel completely. Okay. Once you remove the steering wheel, see this right here. 
it's cover, it's just like uh, you just pop it out, place it to the top, and this goes to the bottom. You can see it's hold by two, uh, clips right here, though. A couple clips. It's right here. These are the clips. Okay. Same as here on this side. This is the clips. Just um, pry it up and, and um, pry it down. You want to um, get a flat head, just push it all. Unless you have a, a plastic uh, wedge, use a plastic wedge so you, you don't scrape anything. But I was uh, okay to use the uh, flat head, so basically you want to push it inside, like here. So uh, that way you won't scratch the, um, the surface of the, uh, the plastic, okay? Um, that's what next, and then my um, uh, next step to do is to remove the four, um, what's it, I think it's the Allen wrench. You can use the Allen wrench for this. This part here, two, three, and four. It's four screws. All right, that's what I'm doing next, four screws. That's one, two, three, four, four screws. Okay, once you remove the four uh, Allen wrench screws out, it's four of them, and then, and the whole unit should be coming out nice and easy just like that and also there's more um, wire harness right there I can see there's a couple there so that's how you got to remove that out also all right I need my um, two hands sorry um, there's a wire harness right there okay one and two and then we just um, replace the new one all right so that's what I'm gonna do one, two, one here and one on the bottom. White harness. All right, be right back. Let me uh, get that out of there. All right, here's my new one. Just uh, put the wire harness in the back. And then you just uh, slide through a red sp uh, spindle. Okay, right in the middle. See it right there? That's what it looked like. Align the uh, two, the four screws. All right, here we go. You can see it's a perfect fit. Um, the four screws is aligned. So next part is put the screws in. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the um, the cover back on, and we should be go to the next step. And there we go. All right, as you can see, there's one screw there. Two screw there. Um, I think right there. Three and number four. So it's all in. Um, just careful um, when you put it in. Don't want to be too tight. You don't want to strip it. So just stay nice and tight. I'm pushing this cover back on. That's what I'm doing next. The cover's back on. You can see. Nice and flush. Beautiful. The new one. All right, next step, put the wheels back on, okay? And the, uh, the white harness. That's the next one we're doing. All right, I'll be right back. Sorry if this, it's not a lot of detail, but um, I am actually doing it myself while I'm uh, doing the job, so kind of hard to do both at the same time. Okay, next step. You want to put the wheels back on. See where the, uh, there's a groove right there? You gotta align that thing right there, okay? So you can see it's right in the center. There's a groove there and a groove there. So you gotta uh, align it. And as you know, the wheel is straight. Um, okay, let's put the steering wheels back. You can see right here. It's back on, right? Um, next up, uh, make sure you put the wire harness back in here. And then uh, you wanna um, put the screws back in. Let me see, I can show you. Here you go. Nice and snug first. Clear. All right. Nice and snug. Okay, sorry, um, I'm gonna um, stop real quick. So I will need to tighten the, um, the bolt back in, the centerpiece of the bolt, okay? All right, I'll be right back, but that's how I'm doing next. Use a 16 millimeter socket and then uh, just a 16 millimeter socket and just uh, put it back in. Tighten it, but don't go too crazy on it. Make sure it's tight enough. Uh, you don't want to strip the bolt, and uh, we'll be, you're going to have issues, okay? Right, nice and tight. 
The next step is uh, putting the um, thing back on, the what's it called, the uh, airbag unit. Right, there's the two uh, wire harness there. Make sure you uh, plug that in. One uh, big one, one small one. Uh, you can see one's gonna be right here, and one's gonna be right here, okay? Which I can show you if I can, right here. Here's that big one, and then here's that small one right there, okay? So that's going back. There we go, hopefully you can see that, all right? Here we go, I'm gonna put it down again. That's the next step. Just align it, and then um, put the IY harness in, and snap it back on. I can see the two wiring is back on. There's one there, and one right here. Okay, now just uh, align it. Where the spring is, you can see the spring and the uh, clip. All right, uh, you just um, just align it and just um, push it in, and it will snap. And you are done. Okay, let's just gotta try it out now. So that's in. As you can see, it's not coming back out, and we are good to go. It's being replaced. Let's go check it out. Thank you for watching guys, uh, Tech Timer T, sorry if uh, the quality is not there because I usually have a, um, a, someone uh, actually a videographer uh, take um, the video for me, but he's very busy uh, lately so I have to do it myself alright, hopefully this will help out a little bit. And you can also combine with other people's uh, video to see um, maybe it's better, than, better views than what I did. But um, that is how you do it, okay? Thank you, and let's try it out, and I'll let you know the result. Take care. Bye. Thanks for watching Tech Time with T. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, I just uh, connect the uh, negative battery back on, so let's try to start the car to see what the result will be. All right. Hopefully you can see. Okay, the car started. It's a good sign, right? Okay, steering wheel is working. Um, let me see. Yep, the horn work. I can hear it. Okay. Um, let me see the cruise control. As you can see, the cruise control is working now. All right, everything is seem pretty uh, working pretty well. So um, that's it. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, take time with you guys.